was deadly. It was deadly. Bao ni eshima fi ishe bojo wo tebe fi mu yonkuro. July 9, it was a Sunday, 2022. I went to his church. That day there was a salary. It was a heavy rain in Lagos. This man entered his room. He entered. There was a passage. I was sitting in another parlor. Just the second parlor he entered. He took one uh, Google, this London Google is inside such a green. From that passage, he threw it at me. And I grabbed it. He said, hey, Lord Jehovah, okay, fine, yeah. Then he went again inside. He came to the passage. He threw another one to me. He said, Fu ya away. Then he went back into the house again. He brought another one, treats to me again. He said, Four more. Eh, ni fenni. Tu fi agbara o kukukwile. Tu fi e mi o kukukwile. Eche, eche. I ya to wa. La ari o kukwati. I mole. Type of trouble. Anything interferes with my dad. There's always a way for him to get out of that situation and make it better for himself, even though it's not a good situation. So troubleshooting is the best way. If people know what that means, people, that's the best way I can describe my dad. the popularity got from my name that brought him there. After living here, he went to Chegu. Shegu used all his life to lie. Shegu is a perpetual liar. Professor Shegu. Oh, he's a liar. He can he even lie more than the private fight under a woman. Say, how did you ask? I bet you have a lot of money. No, I was rolling at the front. Friends are going to be headless, headless chicken. He was rolling at the skaters here. Be headless chicken. Be at the end of your name. Hey, Ronnie, I don't know if you have a lot of money. I don't know if you have a lot of money. I don't know if you have a lot of money. I don't know if you have a lot of money. I don't know if you have a lot of money. You said that I should do it. Yeah, come as a pretty rice and the fall. No, that part is so much into the kick from the rice and the fall. We two are by the Tony. Kill on me now. Tell me, I am a little lady. Oh, the journalist did it because you know, no more to First of all, I want to say congratulations to Benga Dan Asabe, the CEO of Asabe Africa TV. Well, the journey so far has not been smooth. Just like every other journey in all our lives, there are ups and downs and lessons to be learned. From the previous that you watched, you saw a self-acclaimed prophet, Marcos Tibeton, controversial and you also saw another prophet well i don't need to go to the story of how both prophets met but i want to say a little bit about dan asabe because uh, prophet marcos tibeton had mocked him back then he said that asabe lives in a rented apartment and that uh, he's broke, he's poor. This person had worked for the prophet without being paid. Now, Benga did not ask me to say this. It is all out there. The prophet himself confirmed it. Himself, he confirmed it. And we, we listened to both of them. We listened to what they had to um, present. At the end of the day, we realized that Benga had done his job selflessly. In fact, he talked about days that the prophet uh, was plotting to get his platform for himself, saying, hey, Benga, some people have advised me. They said that this, your channel that is written, Benga, that is written as a Africa TV, belongs to the church. And um, 
it is sort of like uh, a little bit confusing. So a lot of things went up and down between them. Eventually, they split apart because the prophet did not want uh, Benga, and that is Asabe Africa TV, to interview other personalities. Well, it happened as it happened. But what I want to hammer on is that Benga Dan Asabe, as you heard from the beginning, I said, congratulations. Benga Dan Asabe has uh, gotten this, uh, you know, house given to him by one of those clerics, a white garment cleric, same as Prophet Marcus Tibeto. That is the thing that amazes me. I mean, all through this journey of being the voice, in fact, that platform brought Marcus Tibeto to limelight. But the prophet said that he is the king and uh, or the rider and uh, being a as a base, the horse that he rode to the palace. When you hear such utterances, it makes you wonder about character and gifts. That is if God really called the prophet. Character and gifts. These are two different things. Some people have that, they don't have this. But when you have character and gift together, it helps. I mean, come on. We all know that all the journey, all through the journey of uh, putting out content about the prophet, a lot of people in diaspora, particularly uh, those in countries where the currency is, uh, I mean, when you do the FX with Nigeria, the currency is very heavy. Those people had called Prophet Marcus the Beton for spiritual assistance. And a lot of money comes into his pocket. In fact, during that period, from the videos, if you go watch all of those, you realize that was when the prophet could build his own cathedral, big church. Even though he's against many of these pastors who are fleecing members, and I'm not saying that is right. But what I want to hammer on is that two personalities, both of them clerics, one an extract of Christ Apostolic Church CAC. And the other one is Celestial Church of Christ Shepherd. They have blessed him for the selflessness. Maybe Benga Dan Asabi had been advised, or it's just something that he put upon himself. Like, this is going to be my principle. Whenever he does services to these people, as a journalist, he does not take from them. And I think it is good. If you give, no problem. At times he will say, No, don't worry. Because once you start giving money, like constantly, then you want to tell the person what to do, how to go about their thing. So, he's blessed with that. He did it with the other CAC pastor that came out of CAC, uh, and he was given a car. Now, this particular, <laughs> this particular celestial shepherd, same as Prophet Tibetan, gave Dan Asabe a house, and also blessed it with something else, like something with four wheels. <laughs> now, what will, I mean, it's like a big answer to Prophet Marcus the Beto that believes so much in his spiritual ability and capability. You heard what Dan Asabe accused him of, that the prophet wanted to finish him, his wife and children. That means wiping you off. And there was this other guy that came out to talk again about how Prophet had swindled in of, I think, 70 million naira or something in that range. And the Prophet had continuously tried to give him some spiritual soap. <coughs> it, it, these, these things are real. I'm talking about, I mean, these things are deep. But look at this gift. And this man said, this celestial shepherd said, you see, um, I've always wondered if you are a member of a conservative church because whenever I give to you, you don't accept. Not until I realize that you're even a member of uh, my, my own church. Meaning he didn't even know. So when you came here, I said to myself, what should I give to this man? I wanted to give you um, this. You said, no, all right, I want to give to you this one. In Ibadan, a house given to him, 
in Ipaton. I think he can as well move over there and start living there. He can do what he does. Transporting himself from Ibadan to Lagos. And if he wants, he, he can as well, he, this is his own now. What will the prophet say? The prophet repeatedly saying, hey, he's a tenant. You have not fulfilled that part that you saw lacking in the life of that person. And he's saying, hey, he lives in a rented house. What does he want to get from Shegu? That is the CAC prophet. I use the word CAC, even though the name of his church is just uh, Christ Apostolic Church. Now he has his own, but for you to know, differentiate. What does he want from Shegu? Shegu stays in the forest and bush and in the mountain. He has no visa, meaning he has the visa. So it's like the prophet sells the idea of El Dorado, the idea of this, uh, um, you're going abroad, don't worry, you're going to Texas and all of that to whoever to lock them down. Just like how some pastors or prophet, when they want to capture you as a young person, they will say they have a vision and that they see you in the future being the governor of your state. So you need to be with them so they can guide you spiritually. That's where the spiritual son thing comes and they will keep ripping you. You have no governorship to fulfill. You have nothing of such. They just want to make you believe that there is greatness in you that they need to help you, you know, manage. So the prophet said this and continuously repeated, hey, it's better as I bear return back here. It's better as I bear returns back here now because there's nothing Shegun has to offer. Shegun does not have visa. But Shegun gave a car. At least he has that. If he doesn't have visa, he has a car to give. He gave him that for all that he has done. And when I listened to him, he said, I felt guilty. The thing is this, conscience and guilt. Did Prophet Marcos, I mean, it's like Prophet Marcos Tibetan's heart is Tied and hearted. I don't know where that could. Maybe if you're a psychologist or you understand uh, how people process their thoughts and what makes them become what they are. Or is this something spiritual? I don't know. It's like he's not willing to give. His hands are tied to himself. Like give. Give to the guy. No. The guy said, ever since you've put me on camera, I mean, I've gotten a lot of people calling me from diaspora with a lot of cash present to me. Having prayed for some of them, they give me, and I'm like, this guy is helping me to propagate the gospel using his platform. How come I have not uh, done something big? When I give him money, he will not accept. So he decided to give him a car. And he accepted it. Now, this white garment prophet surprised being Gadana Sabe by giving to him this house and just and also package it with something else just look at it come on look at it look at it look at it what kind of i mean i want you guys to just have me say congratulations to him because I, I you know for a while i went through the analysis of this when it started at the beginning and i was connecting dots together like what's really happening here how can someone put you out there on that platform of fame popularity and you want to take the person's channel you want to grab the person's uh, uh, and at the end of the day you wanted to punish the person and giving the person some popcorn that had already you have infused it with some energy to keep him under lock and key that key, you'll be the one that has it with you. So you'll be the only one that can open it and it could be health crisis. At least uh, to him, if you are sick and you cannot move around, let's say how you go and interview that person, this other person that will grind you. But all of the enterprise plots, everything grounded down, grounded down. I don't know what you guys think of this. Drop your comment, like and share. See you in the next update.